Yo guys, what's up? This is Dave, the Open Source Gangster here. So, privacy. It's like sex. Everyone wants it, but only a few people can get it. However, there is a way to take back control of your Android device. Now, as you know, when you install an app, it asks for a long list of permissions. Well, using a tool called XPrivacy, you can selectively restrict permissions of individual apps. It's pretty easy and it's neat. Now, to do this, you will need to have the XPlus framework installed, so watch my previous video if you don't already have that installed. And you also need to have a Rudy Android device. And that's pretty much it, so let's get to it. Alright guys, so in order to install XPrivacy, what you first need to do is have Xbox Framework downloaded and installed. If you don't know how to do that, check out my previous video because I'll show you how to download and install it, but it's really easy and straightforward and only take you about like 2 minutes to do. So once you have Xbox Framework Installer downloaded, go and open up the app, Xbox Installer. Then go to Download and type in Privacy at the top here. So we're going to type in Privacy and you should see X Privacy. Select that then bring this down and go to download. And once you download it, go back to modules and select it to activate and reboot your phone and it'll be activated. Okay, so let's get down to this app, X Privacy. This is a very powerful app because it allows you to manipulate uh, different functions or different permissions that apps read, which is nice. So let's open this up right here, X Privacy. So it's gonna load your list of apps that you have now at the top, we can filter it by permission. So accounts, browser, calendar, internet, location, NFC, notifications, etc. Um, and we can also filter it by system and user installed apps. So let's start basic. I have an app that um, right here called Relationship Analyzer. Let's go up here. All right, so what this app does, it just simply analyzes my text messages and just tells me fun relationship facts. I mean, it's a quick, fun app, no big deal. And as you see, it analyzes my text messages. Now, I'm going to demonstrate how X Privacy works using this app. So let's go back to X Privacy. All right, so I'm going to filter by messages. This is going to show me all my user installed apps. Let's go down here to uh, active filters. We see I have it on user applications and by permission. So right now, it's showing me all the apps I have that request permission to SMS. Now, one of them is Relationship Analyst. So I'm going to select that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my Relationship Analyst app. Let's go back, close that out. Let's go back up and open it. I'm going to begin analyzing our text messages again. Select that. And look at that. Unable to find any contacts on the phone. So what we did, we just restricted permission to access our text messages. And that's pretty much how this X Privacy works. So we're going to restrict it, permission to access our text messages, our location, um, anything else. So let's try this again. This time let's do something a little different here. So this time, I'm going to do something probably everyone's familiar with, Facebook. So I want to filter system applications because for me it's a system app. And let's go down to location. Alright, so there we are, Facebook. Now, right now I'm located on East Coast, so that's my location. I'm going to select that for Facebook. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the Facebook app. I'm going to go to check-in right here. Now, right now, it puts me in this place called Christmas Island, which I'm not sure if that's actually a real place, but that's where it puts me. So if I check in or I send someone a message, um, rather than seeing my actual location, they're going to see Christmas I Island. So this is feeding it false information, false data. Um, now, I know Facebook does have a feature that you can turn off location services, but not every app has that, and some apps still secretly track a location. So for apps that do this, this is a great way to feed them, you know, some false information. Stop them from tracking a location. So, all right, guys, this has been X Privacy. Like I said, if you're really concerned about your privacy and you really want to take it to the ultimate level, I highly suggest you download this, install it, and play around with it. This is pretty cool and can allow you to go through different apps and even apps you don't think should have a certain permission and block them from using that permission. Now, mind you, some permissions are needed for apps to function properly, but most of the time, you can kind of get through it. So, guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned for some more guidance and videos. Thanks.